Welcome to the Pocatello Business Podcast, the only Pocatello podcast focused on providing profits for Pocatello people. If you love our town and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Pocatello Business Podcast with your friend, host, all-around great guy, and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. Okay, hey, we are back again with the Pocatello Business Podcast episode. Um, before we begin, I want to take a quick sponsorship timeout, even though I haven't fully began yet, and tell you about the, uh, the uh, Dell's Outdoor Advertising. They've been around for 60 years, guys. They've been a staple of this community. Um, billboards, you know, they are a traditional sense of advertising, and they're still working. I'll be honest with you, I just got a call this week from my billboard on 4th and Clark. So I'm telling you, it's working. Uh, if you want to give them a call uh, and talk to Rob, call them at 232-6886, and that's area code 208-232-6886. Ask for Rob. If you mention the Pocatello Business Podcast, they will give you your first week, first month for free or your installation for free. So it pays to listen to the podcast, guys and gals. But today, I don't want to delay any further because this gal is a smart one and I'm excited to have her on the podcast. Her name is Candace Allgood. Say hello, Candace. How are you doing? Hi. Good. How are you Good. doing today? I am doing fantastic. So. Still nearly side over there. Yeah, yeah, seriously. It's, it's <laughs> about 9.30 this, this morning, so yeah, I don't have my, I don't have my light on, and we're, and we're doing a little construction at my house, so if you hear some hammering or some jackhammering, that's what's going on. There's no, well, nothing if, you hear, crazy. if you hear a dog howling or a, uh, my husband's uh, dad come down and ask a question, he just sometimes forgets that, you know, we're still working over here. <laughs> He's one of the lucky ones that's retired. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let me introduce you a little bit. Candace Allgood, um, she works full-time for the Discovery Channel, uh, and she works for specifically the Shark Week section of the Discovery Channel. So she just got done with her big week. She can actually breathe again. But on, on, on the other side of things, she does on the, on the, on, as a side hustle, she's a virtual assistant, and she is part of our new clean team and she does all the scheduling for our what 35 getting close to maybe 40 employees now yeah so. yeah we're getting there <laughs> well before we get into that i'm sure people are going to want to know what what shark week's like how how is how is it working for them and all the good stuff there oh man well shark week has been around for 32 years um, and it is, you know, it's become a pop culture, uh, thing in society and it's the longest running, um, I guess you could call it almost like a series, even though it's like a whole bunch of just one-off documentaries and, you know, it started in 1988 and they, they started off with just airing six episodes and this past shark week, which was about two weeks ago, we had 30 hours of original programming. So they started out at eight, six to eight hours. Now we're at 30. And um, this year was in particularly just, um, I would say, I, I, I've been telling people, it literally swallowed me whole. COVID was, COVID was uh, the workflow for COVID wasn't very nice. But, you know, we, we may do, and I'm very proud of the team that I'm part of at Discovery because it's a very small team, but, you know, we were able to produce 30 original hours, which I think is really incredible um, when, you, when you think about it, um, especially with the challenges of travel and the fact that we shoot all around the world. We send talent all around the world. And so we had to really be agile and really think outside the box and sure. think about how, you know, who, who can we hire locally to get these shows done? Um, so along the way, you know, we, we faced those challenges, but we also gained some new talent. 
um, which is great because you know that's that's something that's one way to keep Shark Week Shark Week innovative is adding fresh faces and discovering those new scientists who are doing some great things out there to help save um, sharks, keep our oceans clean, awareness, um, and you know have some fun along the way with some celebrity celebrities as well. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> and we had a lot of those this year yeah. <laughs> a lot Love of celebrities. Mike Tyson episode yeah me too he was great he, he you know what he wants to do great whites now so maybe we'll make that happen <laughs> for him um he will. yeah so that's uh you know shark week I I've been a part of shark week now for eight years I started out in post-production and been on the production side of things for four years and I do everything from development uh, which is developing the the show the pitches that are the shows that are that we may end up commissioning. I work really closely with production companies and trying to get these show ideas to where we would want, where I think my boss, my boss would want, want them to be. And then, um, then once we commission them, uh, we send crews out, they shoot them, they come back, then I manage the cuts. And so we'll receive several cuts and we'll give notes back and then um, we'll get the show perfect. And then it, delivers and then I've got to bring it into edit and I got to make sure it's actually perfect <laughs> and before it goes to air and create several different versions so there's a lot of that's the small version there's a lot more that goes into <laughs> that but that's the small version of that <laughs> well I, that's great I love I love Shark Week I've got a good friend uh that is a Shark Week fanatic and uh yeah everyone enjoys it so you, you mentioned something, you know, with, with the COVID everything happening and um, everything else going on, you, you, were, you guys ran across some challenges. And I know even the way people even consume Shark Week is changing. Talk a little bit about that, and then we can talk and, and, and bring that into the business aspect of it all. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, you've sort of been seeing the, the shift of people, what they say, pulling the plug uh, from cable television, which in the... Uh, television world, we call it linear uh, television. And um, every year you see the numbers of viewers going down. And um, this is natural. I mean, this, these are things, you know, as the world changes and generation and the, new, the newer generation starts to come in, like, and how they're consuming things is going to be different from the way that, um, you know, my, my, uh, the, the people who are senior to me are are consuming things. You know, my, you know, my parents and my husband's parents, they still have cable, but anyone who's my age and younger, they pulled the plug. And so watching Shark Week, a lot of them had reached out to me and they're like, you know, how do we watch Shark Week? How do we watch Shark Week? You don't have, you know, we don't have c cable. And I'm like, you can watch it through the Discovery Go app, but you need to have a network. You need to have a TV provider login so they were a lot of them were reaching out to their parents to get them from the get their login so they could like log into discovery go and watch shark week which i thought was interesting and so this year you know looking at the numbers and we're no we're by no means saying that um shark week failed this year because it didn't sure. you know even though the numbers yeah. were lower our um, direct or our consumer app, Discovery Go, was up 50%. And, you know, I think that that just goes to show you that, you know, Shark Week's been around for 32 years. We're working on year 33 right now. And we have to think outside the box. And that is, I think that's an example for companies across the board is, you know, how are, how are the younger generation getting their content? You know, it's through apps, it's through Twitter, it's through Instagram, you know, it's, you know, YouTube. And so now it's like, okay, how do we check both boxes, linear and nonlinear? And so um, that's sort of what we're working through right now. And it's, it's fun. And, you know, that is what keeps not only the companies growing, the fact that you're willing to be agile and look at the different ways that people are consuming stuff, but then as a person, it also is allowing you to grow as well. I love it. Couldn't agree more. Uh, mm -hmm. Side note, can you hear any background noise on my side? No. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, um, so yes, people, if Discovery Channel is noticing, okay, there's some changes you know, the way people are consuming what they have is changing. We as businessmen and women 
uh, need to be understanding that, hey, the way that people are finding us in our business and even wanting to communicate with us in our business is changing. Um, or even just running our business, we can't just stay the same. So Candace, tell us, for example, I know there's plenty of uh, people in the audience listening right now, they're saying, how, what is a virtual assistant, you know, and how is, how is uh, New Clean making a virtual assistant work when they're just, you know, janitorial service here in Pocatello, Idaho Falls, Blackwood, and, Idaho, and Rexburg. Uh, we kind of explain what we did when we brought you on uh, because you are scheduling people every night, you know, pretty much seven days a week right now for us. Yeah. I mean, when I was brought on, you know, you were looking for someone to just um, to schedule your, uh, you know, your employees at the several contracts that you, you have. I mean, you have, you know, and it's grown since then. And, you know, that was sort of like, you know, when I came on, I mean, it was a little bit just like with any new job, it's a little uh -huh. bit overwhelming. You feel a little bit out of like a duck out of water. Um, and, um, you know, it, it takes it when it comes to being a virtual assistant I think you have to be a certain personality I think you have to be you have to be able to communicate really really well you have to be very organized mm -hmm. and um I, I'm type a personality so be you know and in, in, in communicating and being organized are like that's like the top of my list it just yep. it, it I hate to say it comes easy to me because some it doesn't come easy to a lot of people, um, but that was the key thing is like communication, and I would say that that was something that um, you know was there. You know, you have the the Group Me app that you're using, which I find it it it's so helpful. You know, especially it, it being right there at your fingertips. You don't have to wait for someone to send an email. I mean, I can, I can kind of relay that back to my, my full-time job with discovery is during shark week. If you're emailing me and I'm not getting back to you because everybody's emailing me and it's urgent, shoot me a text. Yeah. Cause I'm going to see it faster than I'm going to see your email. Cause I'm either on a, you know, in a meeting or I'm answering another email, but if you need something urgent for me, like shoot me a text. And so that's the, something that's really that was really great about you uh, about new clean is seeing that they were utilizing a system like that to be able to communicate. And then your, your employees, your, the people who are cleaning the, the contracts are also using this and they're communicating with each other. And um, so that, I would say that that was like the one thing that, you know, first coming on was very refreshing for, for me, even though like I still was, re I was really trying to just get my feet, my feet wet and try to figure out a system. But, you know, we got there. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. Cause that was one thing that stuck out to me is right away is that you were really good at communication. And that was huge for us too, is that we all, you just can't over communicate. So now tell the people out there so they know we didn't just throw you in, in the deep end and say, here's all of our locations. Here's all of our people do what you need, need to do. What did we do to help you at least guide you so you, and give you a kind of a map so you can make it better and, mm -hmm. and continue to progress? Yeah, I mean, you had a few documents out there that, you know, listed out your contracts, how long each contract is going to be. I, you, I had several conversations with you, Spencer. I had several conversations with Robin. You both made yourself very available to me for any questions that I had. And, you know, like I said, everybody's going to learn something different. I'm one of these people that's very hands-on. I'm not going to have a lot of questions, like, at first. But then in, once I start to dig in and start to try to wrap my head around, you know, a system, you know, you had certain tools there already that were, that I could get a lot of the answers from. And then if there wasn't an answer there, I was able to reach out and then we could add that to those documents. You know, um, it's the same thing with, you know, building the how to schedule document, which is still yep. a work in progress. It will always, all those documents will always be a work in progress as, as things change and grow. But you know, that how to schedule a document that we, that we created and that you're perfecting for us. And you know, like you said, it's always going to be changing because there's going to always be a better way to do things. Just kind of like mm -hmm. Discovery's figuring out with how people is, are consuming uh, their content. Um, that, that's key, though, people. I think that um, when you have a project or you have something, you're like, there's no way I could teach someone to do the things that I do. Well, if they can teach someone to take a human heart out of someone's body and put it into another person's body and hand that down for decades. So you can teach whoever you're, what, whoever, you know, not whoever, I can't say that. Someone talented like Candace 
uh, to do the simple things that we're doing. Even though you think they're complex, as long as you write them down, have a list, say, okay, if this, then this, if this, then this. It's, it's that simple. As you are literally making those decisions, you have a document saying, if this, then you do this. And that's how you make it happen. And that's what makes it easy for these guys to, uh, to do things. So um, speaking of uh, how changes with this unemployment, people getting paid extra for unemployment, you know, speak about maybe some of the challenges we've had, even just hiring people. Cause we, we typically have a hiring funnel that works every week and we're interviewing every week, but now we're starting to see that funnel dry up a little bit. Yeah. You know, I think people um, are getting a little bit comfortable with that unemployment and they maybe are not, they don't have all of the details uh, right in front of them to know what's going to come after that money is no longer there. Um, and I get, you know, I get it. Like yeah, who, wants, yeah. who wants to work hard, you know, who wants to work, for money? <laughs> wants to work hard for money, Harvest. but you know, I, you know, this is a conversation that I, you know, that we probably have in our household, um, pretty frequently, you know, I, it, it's, I find it really, you know, I think, you know, for this particular business, you're, you know, you're, you're getting some people who are a little bit younger, um, who maybe um, don't have, or still are trying to establish the work ethic. So they're not fully understanding and comprehending like, oh, okay, what, what, what does this actually entail? Yep. Then, and then, and then when it gets too hard or they, they run into something where they're like, I don't really want to do this. And instead of working through it, they'll just, you know, decide, okay, I don't want to do this anymore and just or go. And you. then, yeah. yeah. Or say, you know, they're not, they're not learning, you know, I, I had to say, I come from one of the rare generations where my mom worked three jobs and my mom was a single mom and worked three jobs I you know my mom had a kid cleaning business there you was, go. yeah so you know we like so I came from you know this very like blue collar hard working yeah. like you got to work for if you want something in life you got to work for it and yeah. um you know sometimes I think that's lost and with this and with this with the current business with new clean like I'm um there was a point where I feel I felt like we were getting a ton of interviews and then COVID happened. And I think, you know, even for my, even for myself, like, you know, we're working from home right now and I'm able to do what I do for you from home. Mm -hmm. I'm able to do my, my job for discovery at home and I feel safe. But the moment that discovery says it's time to go back to the office. I don't know if I, until there's a vaccine, I'm not sure if I'm going to feel safe. And I think that some people are struggling with that right now because, you know, you do have to go and you're going to be cleaning, but you're, and you're going to be in these places that you don't particularly know if that, if the people who've been inside these places. So maybe that is a little bit of where so. things have shifted a little bit, mm -hmm. but I think we, I think this week we started to see a little bit of a turning point. I mean, mm -hmm. um, just by reaching out personally and, you know, engaging, um, maybe um, seeing if that helps a little bit by actually just getting, you know, engaging with the person instead of it, you know, waiting for them to schedule an interview and yep. we'll see how it goes. You know, I, I again, yeah. it's, it's growth. It's figuring out what's going to be working in that time that during this time, who knows, I think it's going to be waves. Exactly. And that's the thing too, is that you're trying to, you're trying not to do it all for them, you know, not, you know, trying not to fix the food and then spoon feed them because yeah. you want someone that's uh, going to be a, a core values match with you and your company and not just a warm body. Yeah. All that warm body syndrome, they just come in and come out real quick. Yeah. Um, but I, yes, to the people that are out there. Yeah. We're, we've struggled with some finding good people lately, but that doesn't mean we're like, well, that's it. I guess we better close up shop. We can't find it. No, you, 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 you change your approach, just like Discovery is doing with how they're going to be, you know, doing things with Shark Week. You change your approach and you go at it again. You know, you, you can't yeah. do the same thing. That's insanity. That's the very definition of insanity. So, yeah. I mean, and I, I think, you know, New, New Clean's such a great company. I think, you know, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, the, the, it's really rare during this time you're going to find a company that is going to be growing during this time. I mean, I think 
And I, and I, 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 if I was someone who was looking for a job in, you know, in Idaho and I was seeing that this company has, is continuing to bring on contracts and it, you know, continuing to grow. Like, I'm like, okay, why wouldn't I want to be a part of that? You know, cause that means there's going to be more money in my pocket. Cause there's gonna be more places to clean. That's right. So, you know, I, I mean, but I also am like, you know, I look at the brighter side of it. Right. And that's the kind of people we try to attract, the people that dry, look at the brighter side, you know, and plus we do parties and we have taco buses and all oh. sorts of fun stuff. Come on, people. I know. I don't get taco buses at I Discovery. Know. No. About the game, the new clean style, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> anyways, well, I'm, we're closing up here a little bit, Candice. Um, yeah. I got to take one more time out for a sponsorship here. Um, we are sponsored again by Pack and Go. And if you guys enjoy walking up those steep, slippery slopes up into a moving truck, then this is not the company for you. If you, if you enjoy bruising your body and slipping on those things, and uh, this, is not, this is not the company for you. But if you want a company that drops a convenient pod right at your front step on a ground level, and you can literally just walk your stuff into there, store it, and they come pick it up at your convenience and store it for you out of your way. This is the company for you. Give Darren a call at Pack and Go, 208 339 2229. And if you mention the podcast, um, I believe, okay, okay, we're going to make sure I don't get this right, I mean, wrong. Um, your, first, uh, your first month will be free, um, but they're going to give you some sweet stuff if you didn't mention the podcast. So, um, Give the Pack and Go guys a call uh, if you're moving, if you just need some storage or uh, or just you know, need things out of the way temporarily. These guys are the guys to call. So, Candice, let's go back to you for a final few questions, and I'll let you get going to scheduling or Shark Week stuff, whatever you're doing there today. So, um, so I, I really appreciate you being on the show. I, I'm glad that we're able to establish to these people that there, there are – uh, things that you can offload from your plate as an owner or a manager onto a virtual system, you know, and it makes, my, you've made my life so much easier be, and Robin's life so much easier because you've taken that aspect office. And then we also have Sharla, our new virtual system that's taken our HR stuff and everything off of us. So we can focus on the things that we do very well. So if, what would you tell the people that are they're struggling out there and they're like, oh, I've, I've, got too, I've got too much on my plate. I can't do all the things. I can't go do sales. I can't do this when I have to do payroll and, and schedule. What would you say to those people? Oh my gosh. You know, you know, I found new clean off on uh, Upworks and, or I'd say you guys maybe found me. I can't exactly remember. It's almost been a year and I, <laughs> and um, you know, there's so many people out there who are just, you know, who are great workers and they're looking for a little extra cash or they're looking to build their own freelance um you know platform where they are have several jobs i mean i know that there's tons of people out there who love to be working on several different projects to keep to keep their life really interesting and you know you i i always say this is like whatever you see on paper if you're doubting them don't doubt them like get on the phone with them because you just never know they may be the right fit for your, for what exactly what you're looking for and there's so many talented people out there who can bring so many different things to your business that are going to help you and allow you to focus on things that you want to focus on to help grow the business that's right. Um, so it's, you know, take those things off that are holding you back for you to grow your business. So yeah, that's what I would say. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And those listening, you know, she speaks the words of wisdom and truth because she is, she's, she's made it happen for us. So, um, and then a little shameless side plug for new clean. If you guys do need some janitorial services and you're, you're tired of complaining, uh, to your current janitorial company and you're paying, full price for less than full service, give us a call, 208-254-7070. And uh, we can make uh, that happen for you and uh, go from there. So again, thanks for the coming on the show, Candice. And to all those listening today, thanks for tuning in. Um, do you have anything else, Candice, that, that I should ask that I didn't? 
Uh, no, I think, you know, this was so great and I really appreciate you having me on and um, I, I love working for, for New Clean and you and I'm excited to see where everything goes in life. Um, and, you know, if you're, I would just say like, you know, if you're looking for work, don't stop pushing along. I mean, there's, there's so much stuff out there, especially with, with the way technology has advanced and the way that it's growing. That's right. And again, when she said where we found her, it was through upwork.com. And I did, I did an episode on online resources before in this podcast. And then we mentioned that. So go check that episode out for a little more information on that. So again, thanks. And we will see you guys next time. Congratulations on spending a couple minutes getting just a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Pocatello business community. If you are feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.